If you enjoy fast cars and you're a billionaire, you don't have to make do with watching a Grand Prix. You can afford to start your very own motorsport. At the beginning, a lot of people said, what a mad Arab, you know, some, you know, not from the desert. But effectively, those are people who lack vision. Sheikh Maktoum of the United Arab Emirates got to be the envy of every schoolboy when he founded A1GP, surely one of the ultimate billionaire boys' toys. A1 Grand Prix is the World Cup of Motorsport, Grand Prix of Nations. 25 nations vying to hold the World Cup of Motorsport in their hands. The concept is very good. It's a winter series which nobody has yet. The car looks very interesting. There are A1 cars, A1 engines, all the same, level playing field. Whoever wins uh, is the best, so I think this is a great idea. There's a lot wrong with current concepts and motorsport. Motorsport now is dominated by Europe and South America, and the rest of the world are spectators rather than actual partakers. So like any self-respecting billionaire, Sheikh Maktoum decided to develop his own race car series. How do we make people feel that they belong to the teams? The most successful events on the world are the Olympics and the Football World Cup, and those are based on nations. A1 GP will pit national teams against each other. Also in contrast to Formula One, each team will race an identical car to ensure that drivers have a level playing field. When you have the World Cup of Motorsport, you need to give India, China the same opportunity that you give America, and England and France. So therefore, for the first time in history, they could compete on a level playing field. The good thing about starting your own sport is getting to be the boss, and Sheikh Maktoum even got to design the car himself. A lot of current racing cars are ugly because they're designed by pure engineers. I need a futuristic looking car. If all the cars are exactly the same, they have to be aesthetically pleasing. I looked at the most aerodynamic things on the planet. I looked at the shark, and I looked at the matter, and the sleekness of them. That's why the, the little dorsal fin that we have is kind of like a shark fin. It does serve a purpose, but effectively, it's, it's aesthetic. Sheikh Maktoum decided Lola should design and build the A1GP race car. Based in Cambridgeshire, England, they've been building race cars since 1957 for the Formula One and IndyCar series. I was involved from the beginning because I had to make sure I deliver my vision. The shape of the car was actually developed pretty much as a styling sketch, which is pretty unusual for a race car. This is what we started with, which is the picture that was launched with the press release originally. And that shape was developed with the shake to encompass all the features that he wanted and that he liked about the car. Lola's engineers work to evolve the car from a prototype based on pure aesthetics to one that is capable of high performance on the track. Whilst Lola worked on the chassis of the car, Sheikh Maktoum approached famous engine manufacturer Zytec to produce a high performance engine for A1GP. Zytec produced a 90-degree V8 3.4-litre pure race engine, capable of producing over 520 brake horsepower and weighing in at a mere 120 kilos. Reliability is absolutely essential. It would be detrimental if our engines were not reliable, and our engines are 100% reliable, and we made sure of it. I mean, effectively, what we did, we did half a season non-stop on that engine. After six months' work on the engine and chassis, the car was taken to Jerez in Spain for initial testing. The car drives like a dream, blisteringly fast. It's just incredible. This car surprised even our test drivers. The amount of Gs, the horsepower, the torque, and it's a perfect balance. It's got good horsepower, it's got 520 horsepower, and the car's got good downforce, and we seem to be improving the car a lot as well. So. At the moment, we seem to be putting some good lap times. There's no electronics whatsoever on it to control driver error. And this car, if you make a mistake, you'll pay. Although there are no conventional driver aids, one was devised to overcome a traditional problem with identical race cars. After a few laps, they all kind of fall into a train situation. 
and there's not much overtaking. It's very close racing, but not much overtaking. To solve this, the Sheikh had a moment of inspiration whilst indulging in one of his hobbies. I'm a fan of video games. And on video games, you press a button and you get a boost. And I said, Zytek, can you do this for me? And they said, yes. Zytek developed a system which gives drivers 30 extra brake horsepower at the push of a button. So for 45 seconds, the drivers are going to have an incredible amount of horsepower that will allow them to overtake. And that's for a limited amount of time. So just like in a video game. A1GP bought 50 cars from Lola in the single biggest race car order ever. It'll be a reliable car, easy to run, it'll be quick. It'll have a lot of downforce. So I think we've done our part to make sure the series should be a success. And whilst the car has been developed, things have been moving forward off the track. Sheikh Maktoum has succeeded in attracting teams from nations not normally associated with motorsport. That there would be a South African car, South African colour, South African driver and so on. Makes an extraordinary statement about South Africans. To Sheikh Maktoum, thank you very much. I'm very glad that you've given us the possibility to make that statement about ourselves. Dreams work if they're commercially viable. I took a great concept and I made it commercially viable and I structured it in a way which guarantees success. It's nice to see the dream taking shape and coming to fruition. It's just incredible. However, the best bit about having your own race car series is the little perks. I own two of these cars anyway, which are my personal cars, and I could race them on a track whenever I want. When billionaires spend their money on technological toys, whether getting into space or starting a new sport, before long, everybody gets to join in the fun and enjoy the benefits.